Good morning, Year 10, and welcome to this week's assembly. I hope you've had a good week and all doing well. Um, we're going to get straight in because there's quite a bit to cover today. So, obviously, the government announced the other week that we were looking at Year 10 returning for some face to face contact. Um, the school have been organising that, and obviously, surveys have been going out and so on. We are in the position now where we are looking to return you back to school for the ones that have completed the survey that want to go in and that will start from Monday. Now you should have received an email or a message from school now with an allocated time slot for you to return to school if you have filled in that survey and want to return on Monday. If you haven't received it but you did fill out the survey, can you please email myself or Miss Atkin um, and we'll look into that for you. Now, we must stress that you must only be returning to school on that date and that particular time because it's a scattered time slot, so we keep distancing um, and following all those guidelines as well. If you haven't filled that in and you do return to school, then we can't accept you in the building. You must ensure that you have given us notice to do so. Um, so that's run on an appointment basis. There is no uniform required, okay, for you to come into school. It's just sensible, smart, casual clothing for that. So the following week after next week, once you've had your allocated time slot and appointment, you'll have um, a one-to-one -one with the tutor as well within that time. You will then be following up the following weeks with what we're going to call the master classes, where you're going to be placed in certain bubbles and you'll be working together within those teams but we will be following all the guidelines and we expect you to be following that as well with regards to distancing and um, there'll be PPE in school for you to wash your hands and so on as well. So we will be following all those guidelines. If you've got any questions or concerns, please do email myself or Miss Atkin and we'll try and address those as soon and as quickly as we can for you. Now, moving on to some positive stuff now. Um, we've got some praise announcements and I'm going to hand you straight over to Miss Atkin who's going to start that and then I've got some more when you come back to me. Hi Year 10, hope you're all okay and keeping safe and well at this time. Shame about the weather at the moment I know but uh, fingers crossed we might be getting a little bit of warmer weather back next week. Um, don't blame me if it doesn't happen though. Um, thank you to those of you that have been in contact with me over the last week or so. Um, I know that I've not sent as many emails out to you recently but you're probably glad of that so that's okay. Um, but again, always remember my email is on if you need to talk to me about anything. Um, Praise nominations, we obviously didn't do any last week. Um, myself and Mr Utley made the decision to do so, do them all this week, um, just so that we could do a short one last week and obviously gather everything together. So here are some of the ones that I'm going to read out for you. We have a Film Studies for Mrs Moffat. We've got Rhys Hilton and Evie Bell for a fantastic understanding of context and themes in Invasion of the Bodyguard, uh, Body Snatchers. So well done to you guys. Also this week, um, Evie Bell again, for um, Mrs Moffat has been striving really hard to answer the difficult GCSE questions and seeking advice when needed. So well done. Well done to both of you two. History for Mrs Hitch. We have Leon Wools, Caden Miles and Reese Hilton for completing all the GCSE pod tasks. So well done to you guys. Um, and then we've got Lucy Gilfoyle, who's uh, again continuing to work incredibly hard um, in history, um, but particularly on the uh, American history uh, research that she's been doing and revision. So well done to you. I've got some on this sheet from uh, Mr Finlay. He's uh, asked for a mention for Corey Miller. Um, three fantastic revision pieces on America. So well done, Corey. Jack Stables, fantastic home learning work since the very start of lockdown. High quality work that's had time and care put into it. So well done, Jack. I know you email me on a regular basis and tell me um, how much support you've had from Mr Finlay. So well done to you and thank you to Mr Finlay as well. And Harry Sung, continually working hard and consistently returns home learning for feedback. So well done to Harris, Jack and Corey there from Mr Finlay. We have computer science, a couple of nominations. We've got Kelly Norton and Robert Jenner. Oh, well done to you two. Keep up the good work. Science, Miss Capel, uh, Lucy Gilfoyle, working extremely hard on her work and 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 solving high, scoring highly, sorry, on her variation work. So well done to Lucy. Mrs. Small in textiles. We've got Katie Harris and Courtney Venables uh, for amazing artist pages in art textiles. So well done to both of you two. Hannah Ormrod, 
hard working and dedication to her coursework. So well done to you guys. So well done to all of you. Um, it's like we say all the time, we know there's some fast, fantastic work going off. Um, we know that Year 10 are working hard. Um, if your name hasn't been mentioned again, doesn't mean that we don't recognise the fact that you're working hard. These are just some particular nominations that have been put forward. All right, so keep up the good work, keep working hard. Um, not long until the summer, so let's put the last bit of effort in for the last part of this term um, and keep working really, really hard, everybody. If anybody's struggling to get any work or anything like that, please let me know because we can arrange um, if need be for work to be collected, um, but that would be at a specific time um, and obviously there would be some certain guidelines that you would need to follow if you're coming into school to collect it, but we will let you know more about that. Uh, finally, for me, it's just basically, um, you know, if you've got any questions about the return to school next week, I know we've got quite a number of students who are coming back, so that's great. Um, if you've got any questions about coming back, if you're unsure about anything, then please feel free to email me or Mr. Rutley and we'll do our very best to answer the questions or find out the answers for you. Um, basically just keep in touch keep doing what you've been doing and um, make sure you check your school emails on a regular basis and check the learning platforms for the work that's been uploaded we're looking forward to seeing um, some of you in school next week and um, depending on what day you're in and um, so that will be nice to see some students so i can't wait for that and um, just keep safe everybody and we shall hopefully see some of you next week and if not, just keep in touch by email. We're always there, we're always on them. All right, take care, Year 10, I'll speak to you soon. Well done to those students and thank you there, Miss Atkin. Now, I've got a few nominations that's come to me as well. So I'm gonna start with Mr. Finlay. Okay, and he's got nominations for uh, Jack Stables and Harry Sung. He said that both of them have consistently sent in work set by himself. Massive praise to Jack, who has not only done practice exam questions, but has also purple typed how to improve his work. Well done there for that, doing that purple pen of progress. Even when we're at home, that's what we like to hear. Well done. Um, I've got quite a few from English now, but I'm gonna start with some from Miss Haig. And that is Evie Bell, Kelly Norton, Beth Thomas, and Lucy Gulfoy. Some amazing essays that's come in to Miss Haig there. And then we've got um, some from Mrs. Headley as well in English. And she wants to say the superstars this week for her have been Carly Knight for a beautiful piece of creative writing. Uh, based around a poem on exposure and then we've got Lily Gill as well who um, has done some lovely work every single week including this week and that's the same for Charlotte Hines as well so well done there girls now I've got quite a few names to read out from all English staff I believe and this is Tom S, Megan B, James L, Mackenzie H, Jack H, Maddie S well done for your great effort it says and then we've got Evie Bell, Kelly Norton, Isabel Gleed and Lucy Gilfoy for continuous hard work James H, always the first to send in his work every single week. Well done. Then we've got Neve, Finn S, Luke H, Adam F for continued hard work. Special mentions to Neve and James H for fantastic lots of flies essays. And then we've got Chelsea and Chloe H, fantastic effort on your essay high marks on there apparently. So well done. That's great stuff. Ruby Hill, lovely, well constructed, Lord of a flies essay. Then we've got Jack B for his super quick on the quiz and for all his fab work, well done. Lily G, Isabel M, Charlotte H for all their continuous effort and beautiful work every week. And Jack S for producing a high standard Lords of the Flies essay. So well done to all of you. I'll say some great work going on there. Some work, great work going across curriculum as well, across the school, and we're really proud of you. I can't wait to see you. Unfortunately, I'm not rotated into school next week, so I won't see any of you around, but I am on email if you do need me. Um, likewise, if parents, you want to send me any emails as well, I'll pick those up. Have a good week next week. If you're coming into school or you're still self-isolating and are at home doing that online learning and so on, I hope you have a good week. Look after yourselves. I'm proud of you all. Keep it up. Stay positive as you can, and I hope to see you all soon.